Yo, what up, everybody? This is Lee, the Happy Nappy Trucker. I'm coming back at you for uh, day five and day six of CDL training out here in Marysville, Tennessee, with Driver Solutions. Um, so here we go, day five. Day five, we were, uh, we got with our trainer, and we went over uh, Form A of the pre-trip inspection, which is uh, pretty much what you're checking in your truck, um, broken down up to a specific point of what to check. So we, we learned a little bit about that, and then we finally got to get outside into the trucks, and we got to back some trucks up and um, actually start moving them. And and backing, for the most part, is pretty simple. You know, they, they tell you to chase your trouble or, or um, turn towards your trouble, which is pretty much, um, you know, walking your trailer back and forward because we're just practicing straight line back. So we got that. Uh, I felt pretty confident. Um, most of my most of my uh, classmates feel pretty confident, which is good. Uh, we got a couple who are still struggling, but I think they ain't gonna have too much of problems. Hopefully. <laughs> uh, now, um, day six today. Today we uh, worked on our offset rate, which means we pull up and uh, from one lane, and you're you back up in a way so that you can back into pretty much the adjacent lane, I guess is the best way I can describe that shit. So you start in one lane, pull forward, maneuver your truck um, so that you can then park into the lane beside it and do that without uh, you know crossing over any cones or crossing any barrier lines and hitting anything. So it's a mixture of straight line backing and turning. Um, again, I feel pretty confident. I feel like I can do it. Uh, I still have, We still haven't got the experience like doing it on our own um, without having someone there to kind of handhold us, so I'm a little worried about that, just because I want to. I need to do it without somebody in my ears, you know, telling me what to do. Uh, straight line backing, we got to do that uh, with nobody in our ear, and I passed. I didn't have to do any pull-ups, and I got a perfect score. So, but I was for me, I was way too far to the right than I want of the lane that I wanted than I wanted to be. So I got to work on fixing that and learning and um, understanding how to correct that. But still progressing, still moving forward. We still get paid fifty dollars once a week, so that ain't shit. So trying to live off fifty dollars for a week. Uh, been eating a lot of ramen, and uh, on a side note, Tennessee is beautiful. Ten Tennessee is so beautiful. Tennessee is really beautiful, mountainous, up and down. Um, I can't wait to come out here with a boat or something and and just be out here because it's gorgeous. Although the allergies are kicking my ass. <laughs> I guess because I'm in a new area or something, like it it's killing me. I probably you know I got all kind of crazy shit going on. So I'm trying not to die from allergic from allergies. I don't want to be allergic. I have no allergic reaction. Uh, I've been taking me to um, I forget what they're called, it's like like a Benadryl, but it don't put you to sleep. I've been taking two of those the last 24 hours, and and it's been getting me through. I'll take two tonight because I didn't take them yesterday, and I felt it today. So uh, this medicine's good. <laughs> um, <clears throat> other than that, um, you know, I'm just miss being home, miss the freedoms and stuff like that. Tired of living in a hotel. Uh, without being able to free to freely go around and do stuff. Um, if I had more money, I'd go around and check out Tennessee again because it's gorgeous. But uh, I haven't been able to do that. Uh, I'll, I'll come back and do that later when I when I got more in my pocket. <laughs> um, the training's been great. Uh, it, I mean, the training we've been receiving from our instructors has been great. Uh, there's just been some issues where uh, we've. You know, as a class, we feel like kind of like they're pulling our instructors away or we haven't had much time, you know, to really do what we need to do because there's eight of us and only like two trucks. And today we were down to one truck. So um, those kind of things is a little iffy, especially when doing the skill is what's going to keep you from moving on to the next week. And there's a total of three weeks that you're trying to accomplish this in. So here we are on our second week, and we're learning some of the most important skills, and or, you know, to pass our skills tests before we go out on the road. And the, supposedly the third week is all driving over the road and 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 you know learning how to drive in traffic and stuff like that. We ain't gotten too much time so far on um, on our skills, but this is day two. Um, yeah, today's Tuesday. Shit, I don't even know. It might be. Yeah, today's Tuesday. So uh, tomorrow's Wednesday. So hopefully we'll you know, they'll focus on that and we'll spend the majority of our time really making sure that we feel comfortable and comfortable enough to do it by ourselves back in. Because if we, if we don't get that time and we can't do that on Wednesday, this is bullshit. Like, there's no way we can pass this. How can you ask us to pass this when you've given us no time? So other than that, 
pretty good. Um, hey, babe, miss you. Uh, fam, family watching, friends, shout out to y'all. Thank you. I love you. I, I feel your good vibes. I feel your energy. I feel good. I feel blessed. Uh, I'll be de-stressed once I make it through this week because the third week, like I said, is just all about the drive. And so we'll be, we'll, well, we just got to not hit shit pretty much and make sure you can turn and shift and, you know, drive, drive the motherfucking truck. But other than that, doing well. Um, this is the Happy Nappy Trucker. Still happy. Still nappy. Peace.